Oolong nuclear missile silo research outpost, ok. We arrived to a knuckle deep layer of, la uh, of dust covering the main entrance. Radiation so high, but nothing expected hazardous. Drop nuclear weapons stored in the silo on the Martian poles. Oh man, if I had nukes before, that uh, enemy would get nuked, I guess. Amy, good news. <laughs> we found Quo Long's nuclear silo. We also cracked their system. So we've got all their technology Ooh, in hand. What about the nukes? Boy, aren't we lucky that I studied Chinese and could read everything. I mean, off the record and everything. That is interesting. Chinese has been forbidden in the Oxy UN countries since before you were born. Well, it's publicly forbidden, but it's still pretty common in the streets and a very useful tool if you're willing to pay for it. Easier to fight the techies when you can understand their comms yourself. And look how useful it's been. Now we can use their micro suns to melt the poles. Incorporating their technology will be a big leap forward for the mission. I couldn't agree more. What a discovery. Did I forget to put the main fence in? power plant this one okay so we have research outposts up okay they're gonna bring stuff down here pretty fast boy we are expanding like crazy though this one's going slow They're moving aluminium forward, what the heck? This is not an easy choice to make. I do want to give Elia and the colonists what they want, but not by doing this. But it has left me unsettled. Does what we do for others define who we are? Mm. No. Not necessarily. Sometimes you have to do things for others that you do not want to do. Out of water. If I choose not to use the micro suns, what will the colonists think of me? Well, that's their problem. A medium colony that houses more colonists. Uh, oxygen release plant. Dome colony. Ooh. Tent city, open city. Oh, wow. Well, we're gonna go with... Let's see. Comet collision. Let's get the Hyperloop going. Uh, we'll have to transfer our resources. Maybe building a Hyperloop there. We'll see. <clears throat> now why... oh why... Lower research outpost. Okay, so another one was uh, up. I really have to prioritize you. <laughs> okay, this is now done. But yeah, check this out. Water's uh, <clears throat> definitely uh, going up. More and more water on the planet. Still... Um, melting the ones being delivered down here if the maintenance drones would the colonists resent me for going against their wishes they would be disappointed but I hope they would come to understand my reasoning eventually
Not through the mine. Oof, though this one's gonna last a lifetime. Now these storage centers still were, uh, are not built because we're lacking aluminum. But we're not lacking aluminum, we're actually only lacking the um, the transport of aluminum. Why isn't this powered up? Oh! You're empty, my boy, so uh, again, we lost the road there. I'm gonna put uh, worker hubs in between. Two worker hubs should be the best, I guess. We're gonna plop one there. And we're gonna plop one there. More workers means faster transportation. I followed the facts to their natural conclusion. How could there be anything faulty in that reasoning? Read the road. Read the road. This sucks, man. This. Oh, yeah, aluminum. This one's constantly full. Actually, it has seven now. We're gonna run out. another one down here Ooh, hold it yeah not picking stuff out am I capable of reaching an irrational conclusion oh. in the event oh. of an oh, erroneous okay, input oh. An irrational conclusion could be reached, but that would not be any fault of my logic, only the input sources. That would explain where Dr. Foster needs to debug. Build, build, build! You know what I'll do? I'll put this on hold. Otherwise, new resources are not gonna be transferred up and things are not gonna get built. So we'll wait with this until we get this network done. Where the heck was that mine? Up here. Let's upgrade the roads all the way up. Six hundred colonists. Uh, we do have a, a free spaceship, um, but I'm not gonna do an unlock sector five. Ooh, Ed, definitely. Uh, which one is it? This one. So it is prioritized. Mars awesome. looks so different now with the growing colonies. Humankind is finally making its permanent settlements on Mars. Please. I wonder what separates this desolate planet from me. So we are researching these two sites. So one I think was researched already. How much do we, ooh, we generate a nice amount now? Uh, this one was finished. So are there any more sites? There are up here, but uh, we kind of missed those. This is all gonna get flooded. I just want to get all of this done and uh, mine as many resources as we can, grab everything we can and uh, store it.
Gonna get the power up. Factory. Uh, ooh, she apparently lander research outpost. Today we came across the rem uh, remains of the ancient lander in Meridian Planum. Probe was a joint effort among several countries to study Mars during the robotic exploration era. Lost a short time before touchdown. Oh boy. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Good luck next time. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna upgrade the road. No, to here. Hyperloops, the stuff of legends on Earth. This uh, technology there. will allow me to connect distant sites across Mars. I will be able to spread out so much farther. Uh, Fitting that there. the first Hyperloops will be built here. The 21st century entrepreneur that pioneered the technology is actually buried on Mars. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Hyperloops are close. Oh, well. <laughs> Not that close. But yeah, uh, I'm increasing the speed of this route as well. Up north. So we can get more resources up faster. Oh, yeah, check the speed. Why the heck isn't this being upgraded? Maybe they just need to pave it. defines Mars as a planet versus myself as an entity. What defines Mars as a planet? Ooh. We both have a physical body, <laughs> but the difference is I am conscious of my existence, whereas Mars is not. Okay, now get me the resources before the water rises. Uh, maintenance seems to be fine everywhere. Gonna be fine up here as well. Would be nice if I could grab this iron as well. Oh man, that's how much? 6,000. Me uh, greedy. Um, let's speed this up a bit. So yeah, I have no idea why this road cannot be upgraded. Consciousness means I have more in common with humans than with this planet. This is a bit too fast for my taste. The satellite launch was a success. Aha, I have access ooh. to sector SA5 now. My records show that the historical Lohitanga mission is in this sector. Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna launch it here and establish a bunch of uh, research projects. Um, slow down a bit. Beelining it here is not gonna be that easy. Why doesn't it show fourth? Hey, no virtue. Uh, hi, by the way. Are you avoiding the control satellite for a reason? Um, what do you mean the control satellite? And uh, yeah, hi, by the way. 
I'm actually um, slowing down a bit uh, on the terraforming because I want to grab a lot of resources, store it here before things flood. Oh no, that was a... Um, just finished. So I've uh, just unlocked the Sector 5. So this just got unlocked and I'm... Uh, I would definitely like to grab this... Oh, it's the Curiosity. Uh, this research sites but this is all floodable area a actually this is probably these two are as well uh, so we have to be quick but if I put the satellite or uh, the new landing site down here for example I'll have to connect it somehow and this is a very long way, so I'm actually probably gonna wait bef uh, until I get the Hyperloop. Though it is possible um, to make a landing and actually start a new economy, if you have, I mean a new economy, a new base. Um, because you get some resources inside the landing module. I'm just thinking about... So yeah, Directive completed the expansion. So I'm thinking about if I should go for it or wait for the Hyperloops. Uh, we are generating 126, so I'm gonna wait. It won't take us long. I need to build this up. Uh, let's see, so what are we doing here? Yeah, these are all level 2 mines make the aluminium mine things will go faster well let's speed up but yeah the atmosphere is already here you can see the clouds and this is already water so uh, we lost these research sites we'll see how the oh boy this will hurt I don't know why, but this uranium mine gets constantly hit by um, by asteroids. <laughs> it's a dense area, probably attracts the asteroids. 